Yo, what is going on guys? Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7 and I'm saying another video because I've done a couple of Flash Season 7 videos so this isn't really my first one and for today's video I will be going over this interview from Entertainment Tonight with Grant Gustin who has some pretty interesting stuff to say about Season 7 and moving forward as well and also I'll be going over an interview from Eric Wallace, the showrunner with CBR, about the reverse flash stuff that was supposed to happen in the original finale, but due to what's going on, the season ended up getting cut short, so this is no longer something we may get. Before I break all of this down, however, you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. Okay, so first I'll go over the reverse flash stuff because it's the short part and then I'll go over the Grant Gustin stuff later. So Wallace gets asked, The other day, Barry Allen actor Grant Gustin mentioned the season originally had a big thong cliffhanger. I understand plans have obviously changed, but will we see any remnants of that in the lead up to the new season finale? And Wallace replies, No, sadly, because of the pandemic and because of the changes we had to make, that thong cliffhanger which really starts in episode 15 the exorcism of nash wells because now we've gotten thon to his next stage he's out there voldemorting we're now no longer able to do our original plan in the last two episodes of the season now this is really disappointing like when you first read this this becomes disappointing because the reverse flash cliffhanger was supposed to happen and it got everyone so excited because they wanted to know who it was and you would speculate that he would take up a new body of someone and we would you know assume who and you know we we would have you know assumed to have a build-up as well to this reverse flash stuff but then wallace says but don't worry no fear that gets rolled into next season so we'll have to finish the black hole storyline and find a different way to weave in the thorn stuff. Now having said that, know that you're thinking, well I'm disappointed Eric, I love Reverse Flash, I love Thorn. There's got to be a way to give us what we want this season. Well I'm happy to report we did come up with a very crazy solution that now in the, how shall I say it, not in the season finale but perhaps soon thereafter. It, get, it gets resolved in a way that I think fans of the Reverse Flash are going to just giggle with delight. So this just hypes me up so much because it's so interesting what he said. And it does pretty much show that this Reverse Flash stuff will be taking place next season. But the fact that you know he said everyone will giggle with delight is very intriguing. I just cannot wait to see what they will do with this Reverse Flash stuff. But anyways, on to the Grant Gustin stuff now. So Grant Gustin first gets asked, Due to the pandemic-related shutdowns, The Flash's sixth season is ending on episode 19 this year, a couple episodes shy of what you originally planned on completing. How are you feeling about that and where this season is going to leave off? And Grant Gustin says, I mean, obviously, it's a little disappointing. The writers were working really hard towards what they had planned for 622 and it's still a good cliffhanger. I mean, thankfully, our episodes generally have built-in cliffhangers, especially as we get closer and closer to the end of the year. I mean, I know some fans will still be disappointed, but it serves as a good cliffhanger. Everyone has a right to be a little disappointed right now, but the whole world is kind of being flipped on its head. So I think we can all accept this is the reality, and sadly, we just didn't get to do as many episodes as we have planned plan to now i will take grant's word for this like when he says it does serve as a good cliffhanger now i'm still speculating that will be barry getting stuck in the mirrorverse now obviously people will be disappointed because we didn't get that you know full season obviously and of course the reverse flash cliffhanger and like not everything's you know properly wrapped up so this is why people will be disappointed so i'm just saying when you guys are watching episode 19 don't like you know have high hopes for it because it's just you know an episode but they did say it was written to be one of the biggest episodes of the season so you know you could get a bit excited but then he, the next question is 
Do you think you're going to finish your last three episodes in the start of next season, or do you think that the writers are going to have to start out with a clean slate? Then Grant says, No, I would have to imagine that the way things are going to be left off, we're still going to need a lot of these pieces to finish off what we're doing. So I think what would have served as episode 620, 21, and 22, maybe they won't do these storylines in their entire entirety in season 7, but I would assume we're going to finish or we're going to do kind of condensed versions of these three episodes before we continue on what they had planned for season 7. And that's me speculating. I haven't necessarily had the, that conversation with the writers. So, yeah, it isn't too much of a surprise that we do need the majority of these remaining episodes to wrap up everything properly. But yeah, they may remove a chunk out, out from the originally planned and like rewrite it. So like, you know, these things, these remaining things that they haven't wrapped up are wrapped up, but also correspond to what they have planned for season seven, part eight. Because we know season seven is going to have those two part things again. But the next one is a quite long one, so yeah, I'm going to have to read a lot. We have two episodes left this season, the penultimate and 619, which is now finale. What can you tease for the, for the fans out there? You mentioned we were getting a cliffhanger and some fans may not be super thrilled. Is that because everything is not wrapped up with a bow? And Grant says, yeah, there's definitely no bow this year. Generally, we tend to finish this season with a little bit of you know we like that element of surprise to end the year and to keep everybody waiting during the hiatus time but a lot more than usual is left unfinished it's not necessarily a reconciliation with a lot of things that were going on with team flash and barry and iris separation and the mirrorverse so yeah there's a lot of things left unfinished as we saw in the last episode, Barry had started to catch on in 617 and we finally were having this ep epiphany that he hadn't been living with his wife and some something was going on. He shares his concerns with Cecile and the team starts to catch on on what's happening and that maybe Iris is somewhere else. We will see that we'll see that start to develop in 618 and things will definitely start to come ahead in 619 but it doesn't get resolved as much as we'd probably liked it to so yeah it isn't too much of a surprise at all that these you know majority that you know these episodes are left unfinished i could be wrong about this but i think it was said that iris would get out of the mirrorverse somewhere in like episode 21 i could be wrong about that i'm not 100 percent sure but this does lead, really you know re lead you to believe that iris will now be stuck in the mirrorverse until season seven but the next question is let's talk about barry this season because we're seeing the flash losing his speed what has that been like for you as an actor to play and could we hold out hope that the Flash could still be the fastest man alive? And Grant replies, yeah, I would say it's safe to say hold out hope that we're still going to figure this thing out. Whether it's an artificial speed force or restoring the speed force, I've got to imagine that we're going to figure it out. For me, it's been fun. I mean, it's different that, and at times I haven't even worn the suit for an entire episode. Like me and my wife, Ellie, watched this past episode together and we're like, that is so weird, I wasn't in the suit once. As a viewer, you're like, oh man, but when I'm shooting, I'm like, man, I'm not in the suit once, like, I'm so comfy. So that was a plus for sure while filming and it's just different. I mean, it's a lot more Barry. It's fun at times and hard at times to play Barry, so discouraged constantly. And he's been kind of at an all-time low especially his confidence for a lot of second half of the season so that's been weird to play and different but it's always nice to change things up now this is very interesting because it mentions an artificial speed force but this is literally the first time ever i hear about restoring the speed force so i don't know could it be that they make the artificial speed force and that ends up you know restoring the original speed force and you know gets restored like that who knows but then the next question is speaking of the suit we've had six seasons and we've had quite an uh, quite the evolution we've gone from maroon to bright red we've seen the rain come into play 
what is still on your flash suit bucket list? What would you like to see? And Grant says, gold boots. We have the lightning on top of the red boots. That is kind of like the wing lightning at the top, but that's really the only thing that we're missing for it to be pretty much the complete comic book look. The suit that we have now essentially, but with boots to match the belt and then I feel like we're there. Now adding on to this, Eric Wallace did also say that they're getting closer and closer for, to figure out this like you know gold boot stuff. Now the reason why it's taking long is because they need to find that you know perfect color otherwise it wouldn't you know look as good as it should have. But lastly the next question is we have six seasons under your cowl at this point how much longer do you see yourself playing the flash? And Grant says, listen, I may never have a job as cool as this again. That is that this many people actually tune in to watch. So I'm not going to take it for granted. I was talking with Michael Rosenbaum the other day and to go as many seasons as they did with Smallville, like nobody gets to do that. That's always something I thought would be really cool to accomplish. It's not just my decision, obviously, but it has to do a lot with the viewers and the network. And I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I can definitely see myself doing j more than just one season that I have left on the current contract. Seven seasons is it for most of the cast actually. But I think it would be great if we can continue after that. Now this is very exciting because it potentially teases a Flash season 9 and 10. Which is so cool because now that Arrow is gone, although it's my like favorite show that's ever existed. The Flash is my, you know, favorite TV show that's still airing. So like seeing it last long is very cool. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.